All right, well, I'm about to go take my driver's test. Uh, my mom is driving me over there. And uh, I guess I'll cut back to whenever I'm done. All right, well, I'm going to go on practice with this new vehicle that I'm unfamiliar with, and I'll come back with y'all whenever I come back with y'all. And i already going to say I apologize for ranting. You probably don't want to hear all that, but it's something I have to get off my chest, and I feel like I can vent to y'all guys. So I'll cut to the next part. All right, guys, well, I just finished my driver's test. Um, he, the instructor or tester just got out of the car just now. He was sitting right there. But now I'm sitting here waiting. He went inside, told me to wait here for a few minutes, but I'll let you know that I did pass my driver's test. I made a 92. I thought I'd do better, but um, he put my use of lanes, my absorption, uh, observation on use of lanes. I guess I didn't make it clear enough that I was looking at my mirrors. Uh, signal control. At the last turn, uh, I was hesitant to turn it on because he told me when to turn. And it was kind of one of those things where it just it just happened to be like that, even though it was really no big deal at all. And my last thing was uh, my signal checking, whatever. I guess I didn't make my head movement clear enough to let, let the guy know that I was checking the intersection when going through it. But overall, I'm not mad. I'm I'm like I like my score, 92. It's awesome. All right, all right guys, I'm go. back in my truck. I just got dropped my grandpa's uh, Saturn off. At his house, I got me a, I just drove to Walmart, and I just got me a little uh, holder for the phone that I'm currently using right now on the windshield. So I want to see how this works. I'm going to talk to y'all on my first drive, but it's technically my second drive because I didn't have a window mount. All right, y'all ready, guys? Seatbelt's on because, because safety first, right? That's my uh, Blue Lives Matter flag in the background, if you didn't, just in case you didn't know it. Ready? Let's do this. But yeah, I'm licensed. I got my license and I'm official now. It's it's a wonderful wonderful feeling. I can't even explain to y'all. And I'm going the wrong way on a one way. Whoops. I'll blame it on my brand new license. Sounds about right, guys. Come on, immigrants get their licenses, so like with basically handed them handed to them so uh I'm not too worried about it. Now I'm at the Walmart parking lot trying to get out and it's pain in the ass so I'm just gonna turn. Alright if you look to my right here, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's some immigrants right now. Now you can see them. Whoops the flag covered it. Turning circle, come on, don't fail me now. Man, this is a wonderful feeling. Y'all guys out there who don't have your don't have your license yet, going out and driving on your own is the I swear, it's the best feeling ever. And I'm sorry if the wind noise is bad, but right now I believe it's like high 80s, maybe low 90s. And I don't have AC, so the window's gonna be down for now. I'll crack them or something once I get on the highway because I'm probably gonna get on the highway just to, to do it. And I'll test out my sound quality. So, but, and I'll, uh, if it, it ends up being bad, I'll, I might end up cracking my windows or something. I seem to be all right right now. Holy crap, traffic is awful. What time is it? Whew. Don't you hate five o'clock traffic? It sucks. I'm like just sit, just like being a passenger in five o'clock traffic sucks. Look, she's on her phone, texting. Little slug bug right there next to me. I'll get a front mount eventually. This is just for right now for my first ride. All right, I'm going. Hopefully this footage isn't way too shaky.
All right, time for the highway. You know, I got a flag on now. I'll, I'll pass. Plus, we got construction up here, so never mind. Sorry to hype y'all guys up. <laughs> Later, Tom. I don't want to mess up that my flag right now. Even it's even though it'd probably be fine. I really don't want to have to buy another one, especially when this is when this one is lightly used. So, yeah. I guess I can go on this un uh, go underneath this underpass right here. See if I can throw it in neutral just for the hell of it. We'll see. Depends what I'm feeling. Man, it's just freedom at its finest. I love it. Just wait till I get the super tens on here. I got people behind me. I won't do it. That wasn't me to clarify that. It was that motorcycle. So, even if I did do it, you wouldn't hear me because I had stuck exhaust on it. Go! It was a green light, just to clarify. Wow, this is this is really fun. I'm, I'm loving this. Just absolutely loving this. This ability to go out and drive. Man, it does not get beat. This is awesome. Tonight, just no other way to describe it, but awesome. Don't be scared. Someday I'll get a diesel. I'm thinking. Uh, early 90s uh, Cummins. What do y'all think? I think that'd be a fun project off-road toy. Uh, leave your uh, opinion in the comments of what you think on a 92 uh, maybe dually uh, Cummins. <laughs> I've been looking around online and it's, they say for a decent one it's like eight grand. And, uh, I don't know, I paid three for this truck. and I had very little uh, modifications I plan on doing with it. So I don't know if I want to put eight grand and then spend a, a bunch to lift it, especially with it being a dually, and putting mud tires on all, and then a grill guard, light bars, a whole nine. I, I, that's a huge. That's a huge amount of investing into a, a truck that's going to stay off road for its whole life while in my possession. So I don't know yet. But uh, leave your thoughts about it in the comments below. And this is my turn. So that was my drive back to, back from Walmart to my grandparents' house. And that was basically my first ride reaction. It wasn't necessarily the, the first ride, but close enough, right? But man, there's nothing else like it. It is a blast. What's on the radio? It ain't my business in love with them, break up with them. I had to turn it off so I don't get copyrighted on YouTube. Ain't that a pain? Do it again. I'm not kill them. I'm about to pull up in the house. Oh, there's someone behind me. There's always someone behind you in the Amarillo of the Texas. All the time. 
it never it never fails. If you want to just sit there for a second, there's always someone behind you. That piece of crap ricer. That's who it was. You all saw that. I know y'all saw it. <laughs> Idiot. All right, well, that was my first experience driving. Um, it was fun. I got me a mount for uh, car vlogs, and a lot is going to happen. Uh, I think I'm going to cut to my rant about this morning, and you're going to learn everything that was the difficulty of me getting to this point today. All right, so I'm going to cut to that in, let's say, uh, three, two, one.